Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now I am going to show how to create circle and curve lines in MicroStation and AutoCAD. So let's start with circle. Here, in the ellipse tools, two option: place circle, place ellipse. So click on circle and click on the center point. And here, previously we have drawn. A 30 meter width line. So if it is 30 meter dia of the circle, then I will, we will click on the edge of the line. Or if we want to create anywhere that circle with 30 meter dia, click on this circle, then press anywhere, then here click on diameter write the diameter 30 then enter then left click left click it will create a circle and same circle you can put anywhere like this and if you press right click then it will finish okay now if i want to create same uh, circle in autocad you can click on here circle option here to create circle there are some three four option in autocad i'll just click on this circle here and here same way you can do like micro station and if we want to define a diameter 30 meter diameter of any circle i will put 15 then enter okay see this is copy option here like this if i press this one ortho mode or f8 then i can move anywhere like this like this then press esc and micro station first select by clicking the arrow then like this then go to copy select the center like this you can copy to finish this one press right click here esc will not work to eliminate this grid from the view you need to press f8 here for micro station for autocad if you want to remove the grid then press f7 so this is the difference for removing the grid view from AutoCAD and MicroStation. Now we will create curve line here arc tool place arc like a part of circle this is place half ellipse and quarter ellipse move, move arc uh, radius modify arc angle and modify arc axis here are the option for creating curve and here another tab for creating curve curve by point curve by tangent composite curve interpolation conic spiral here the modify option and the curve utilities option now we will create curve line first we will create arc place arc here we can put half ellipse place quarter ellipse modify arc radius modify arc angle modify arc axis we can use this option in micro station here place a ellipse here two option primary if i click on this then here for example 15 primary at uh, diameter and second one 30 secondary then click enter like this you can create an ellipse in autocad to create ellipse here the ellipse press center then this one ortho this side 15 or here 30 enter and this side 15 enter in this way you can create ellipse in autocad now go to micro station arc tool for creating arcs uh, 
press anywhere to check the edge of the arc then make it straight here we can create radius by clicking on this for example this is 15 enter then click another point now we can uh, fix the angle here we can for example uh, 180 or 235 okay like this it will create in this way we can create arc in micro station in autocad to create arc here we need to go here this option go to this option then here you will find some uh, different ways to create this arc we will select start, start center and angle to create similar arc we created in micro station now press click anywhere in the window then to create 15 meter radius arc the type here 1515 enter then provide the angle for this or how much angle you need for this arc in micro station we have provided to 35 degree 235 then press enter no this is the hours for radius of 15 meter dia now if we want to check radius for that arc in hours in micro station go to annotate then here dimension element this one a radius 15 okay in this way we can check the radius in micro station and here in AutoCAD later on we will see how to change this dimension style in AutoCAD and micro station now we can create other curve line going to here curves like this then press right click it will finish by tangent you can create right click it will finish by interpolation like this conic like this now for spiral click on this here it will ask the initial degree for example 30 degree final degree 90 and length for example 10 meter okay then click here like this it is coming this is the clothoid method if we go for log logarithmic method we will get a different result for example this 30 initial final 90 and angle this is initial radius 30 final 90 and angle if we provide this is 1 or 235 degree then we will get like this for 360 we will get like this if we take initial radius 15 and final 90 then we will get like this so in this way we can create different type of curve in micro station and from curve we can create facet also click on this then click on this here you can provide the number for example 15 enter 
or if we provide 10 enter like this it will be like this if you want to delete original you can unmark this one then select this right click sorry then enter left click again I am showing if you want to delete original where number of the segment for example 10 then click on this then press left side of the mouse then right click or then click on element selection ok for this curve we can get same segment from here click on this number here write the number and I'll keep the origin original to see the car from where is coming this one I'll select it will come like this if I want to increase the segment number then right here like this so this is a another option in micro station for making a straight line from car in AutoCAD here some other option for arc uh, to create different of type of curve line is by line like this enter then this one like this right click enter Here you can measure the points for different line helix like this you can create helix here then final like this enter so in this way we can create different types of curve line in AutoCAD and MicroStation so thanks for watching stay tuned for more tutorials Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.